Hello faculty and welcome to Library Orientation for Faculty and Staff for Denmark Tech. Um, we are primarily going to be telling you about our new website today. We're going to walk you through a couple of the different new areas and some information that you can use in your classes and some pertinent new information for you about our new services. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to actually get to the new website. This change may not be in effect quite yet as the recording of this video, but it's going to be up and running before school starts. So, to get to the new library website, you go ahead and go to the regular Den Denmark Technical College website, and you just click on library. If you just click on library, this list is going to be gone. It'll take you straight to our new shiny LibGuide page. Our new website has a ton of new features, including a little library tour for everyone that wants to see what the library has to offer. We divided up all information with these useful tabs on top, and we're going to go first to Faculty Services, because this is where you will find the most pertinent information that you need. We've actually listed out all of our information here, that we're, the services that we do for faculty and staff. We have broken down and told you exactly who your library liaison is, so depending on what you teach is going to be who you're going to contact to set up any kind of information, literacy classes or things like that. We detail our faculty reserves, what our literacy classes are going to be. We have a new set of information here about adding us to a DT D2L conversation or how to access our databases for your students. The next part we're going to focus on is right here in the Technology Center tab. And this is our new tab this is our new information on how to actually reserve your technology room sessions. So, of course, we have the information right here about what we actually have in our technology room. And right here is our new reservation section. Now, I'm going to walk you through how to do a reservation. It's very user friendly. It's very quick. You no longer have to call the library to make a reservation. You can do it yourself online and see current scheduling availability so that way we don't have anybody having to call up and say hey is the technology room available on this date at this time you'll be able to see it yourself so all you need to do is when you're ready to make your reservation click on new online reservation calendar right here it takes you to our libcal page so this is lib calendars and what you can do is just use the use the dates over here to select whatever date you're looking for and it'll give you this handy dandy chart to tell you exactly which hours of that day are available for you to book. So you click on whichever hours that you want. You can book in one hour increments. Make sure you read this information correctly. Make sure you double check your information, your dates and times to make sure they're right. And click continue. You're gonna fill out this short questionnaire. All of the questions are required and it fills in the information so that when you walk in we'll be ready for you we'll have everything set up so just your first last name your email the name of whatever class you're teaching if it's a TechNet meeting if you don't know what that is it's a it's like an online face-to-face -face, um, meeting you just hit yes or no put in your phone number how many attendees you're intending to have and any any um, technology that you may need. Now this one is really, really important. It's really easy, but you need to check that you understand that students must be accompanied by a faculty and staff member at all times. Then you're just going to hit submit my booking and it's going to send you an email. So you're going to get an email that looks like this. It's going to give you the dates and times that you've requested and you, all you have to do is within 12 hours of your reservation, of, of making your reservation, so when you actually hit submit, 12 hours from then, you have to go into this email and click on this confirm link. And what it's going to do is just give you a confirm your booking, and you're just gonna hit yes, and it's gonna send you another email that looks like this. It's gonna say your booking has been confirmed, it's gonna have all the questions that you answered, so if there's if you need to make any changes to your reservation, you just email Miss email Miss Fortson as soon as possible. And if you need to cancel the booking for any reason, you have to do it at least 24 hours in advance. And all you have to do is go to your confirmation email and click on this link. It's really easy. All right, uh, the last thing I'm going to focus on is our list of new books, and this is a fantastic list of everything we've added 
from 2015-2016 so you can see exactly what kind of titles we've added for your different classes. There's over a hundred books here so there's plenty for you to look at and all of these can be reserved through the online catalog or you can just come in and we'll reserve them for you. If you do need to access our online catalog it's right here under welcome. It's right here for you. We've made it nice and simple. You just type in whatever you're looking for, hit search, and it's exactly the same as it always was. It's the exact same search interface, same res reservation tactics. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your library liaison. Again, found under the faculty services page of our new website.